For centuries, losing a tooth meant one of two things, discomfort or dentures. Humans, unlike sharks or alligators, are stuck with just two sets of teeth in a lifetime. But what if I told you that the age of implants and dentures is rapidly coming to an end? Welcome back to Scientific Research Videos. Today, we're diving into one of the most exciting advancements in regenerative medicine, the groundbreaking human clinical trials happening right now in Japan to regrow functional, natural teeth. This is not science fiction. Scientists have identified the genetic off switch that prevents us from growing a third set of teeth, and they've developed a drug to flip it back on. We'll break down the cutting edge science, meet the team behind the discovery, and discuss when this could change your next trip to the dentist. Tooth loss is more than cosmetic. It affects speech, nutrition, bone density, and quality of life. Globally, hundreds of millions of people live with missing teeth, and that number increases dramatically with age. For decades, our only solutions have been mechanical. We have dentures, which are often uncomfortable and require significant maintenance, and we have dental implants, which are the current gold standard. Implants are durable, but they are invasive surgery. They are expensive, require significant bone mass, and are not suitable for everyone. They replace the tooth, but they don't regenerate the body. The scientific dream has always been biological regeneration, a treatment that uses the body's own existing blueprints to simply grow a new tooth. This is where Dr. Katsu Takahashi and his team in Japan step in. They asked a fundamental question. Why do humans only get two sets of teeth, while many other species can regrow theirs indefinitely? The answer was found deep within our genetics. The pioneer in this field is Dr. Katsu Takahashi, head of dentistry at Kitano Hospital in Osaka. His team, collaborating with Kyoto University and the biotech startup Toragum Biopharma, realized that the genetic potential to grow more teeth still exists within us. The treatment they developed is called TRG035, or technically, an anti-USAG1 monoclonal antibody. This drug is currently the focus of the world's first human clinical trials for tooth regeneration. The phase one trials officially began around September of 2024 at Kyoto University Hospital. They are carefully designed to test one thing first, safety. The study involves approximately 30 healthy adult males aged 30 to 64 who are missing at least one tooth. They receive a single intravenous injection of the drug. This initial phase isn't about success stories. It's about rigorous safety monitoring and determining the correct non-toxic dosage. If TRG035 proves to be safe in these adult volunteers, the path opens up for phase two and beyond, where they will test efficacy, the ability to actually regrow a tooth. This is the most fascinating part of the science. The reason humans stop growing teeth lies with a protein called USAG1, which stands for Uterine Sensitization Associated Gene 1. USAG1 acts as a natural inhibitor. It suppresses signals in the body that promote tooth development. Think of it as the stop sign for tooth growth once your adult teeth are in place. Researchers theorize that we have dormant cellular structures, tooth buds, that represent a potential third generation of teeth. In most people, the USAG1 protein keeps these buds permanently asleep. The drug, the anti-USAG1 antibody, works by neutralizing or blocking the USAG1 protein. By binding to USAG1, the antibody prevents it from sending the stop signal. When this inhibitor is removed, it frees up other growth-promoting proteins, like bone morphogenetic proteins, BMPs, to get back to work. The removal of the USAG1 block essentially flips the switch, reactivating those dormant tooth buds and initiating the biological process of growing a new, natural tooth from the patient's own tissue. This isn't a blind leap. The drug showed remarkable success in animal models. Trials on mice and ferrets, which have a dental structure similar to humans, demonstrated the successful and safe regrowth of fully functional teeth. This promising preclinical data is what paved the way for the current human trials. If phase one is successful, the team plans to move quickly to phase two, focusing on a particularly vulnerable population, young children aged two to seven, suffering from congenital tooth agenesis. This is a genetic condition where multiple teeth fail to form, causing significant developmental and health challenges a single injection could potentially solve a lifelong problem for these children. The researchers are highly optimistic. Their goal, 
pending successful trial results is to have this tooth regrowth medication, TRG035, available for general clinical use by 2030. This technology could fundamentally revolutionize dentistry. Imagine a future where tooth loss is treated not with a mechanical replacement, but with a biological solution. Regenerated teeth are expected to integrate perfectly with the jawbone, feel natural, and potentially last a lifetime, bypassing the need for implants or dentures entirely. Of course, as with all groundbreaking medical research, there is cautious optimism. Regulators must confirm long-term safety, and challenges remain in ensuring the new teeth grow in the perfect shape and alignment. But the trajectory is clear. We are entering a new era of regenerative oral health. The research in Japan is giving us a glimpse into a world where biological limits can be overcome through scientific understanding. What organ do you think science will learn to regrow next? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this dive into cutting-edge science fascinating, please hit the like button and subscribe to scientific research videos for more deep dives into the future of science and technology. See you in the next video!